We nice. own them. <laughs> it's so difficult with those smaller fish around to actually get the bait to the big fish because they're a little bit quicker, a little bit faster. They want to be that big. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they got to win the race. Yeah. Man, there's a lot of bait in this. A lot of bait? Yeah, runners and small flyers. We were lucky enough, there was weed out there that day. It wasn't just a big blue ocean. And you know, once you get going, you gotta, the day's gotta start. Is this weed line at 600 feet gonna be the one? Or is this the one you wanna let some of the other boats work and you just keep going a little further? And, you know, when do you make that decision? You know, you look up and down a weed line if you, if, with the binoculars or your radar, if you don't see something for one or two miles, even though it's a beautiful weed line, a yellow brick road, you gotta leave it and just keep looking for the better uh, scenario. And I think it was our, we went through three really nice ones before we found the one we wanted to turn on and really start taking advantage of what it might have to offer. All right, here we go. There's the first, there's a nice pack of gaffers right here, schoolies. Coming to you, coming to you, coming to you. Here they come. Keep it moving, cuz. All right, they're swimming up to us. Nice fishing mixed in. I'd fire one pilch out there, take it over. They're in, they're in our wash, it's awesome. They're swimming with us real pretty, there you go. Oh, ho, ho. came over. There's a taco. I'd say we take two, two or three of them and then move on. Looking good there. You want a couple of them? Uh, yeah, let's get two. Still see them? Yeah, they're following right behind the motors. There you go. Uh. Yeah, that's the one we're looking for. Go bullhead. There's another school coming up to us there now. When we finally found the one and turned west, it uh, wasn't very long before we were actually hooked up and had our first school, took a few for dinner, and you know, we wanted to catch a big one. There was plenty of fish there, but we did our 30 minutes. We kept them around with live baits and chunks. The fish we wanted weren't there. We tried to pick a few of the bigger schoolies out, and it was time to move on to the next one, but we didn't have to go anywhere except for down the weed line another 500 yards, quarter mile, and start the process all over again. There we go. That's a little sandwich right there, buddy. I always tell everybody it's so important to spend 30 minutes on every school because those fish are so uh, aware of what's going on that their their family is spread out wide. You know, some guy might be over here doing a little exactly. hunting, this guy's hunting, but if you sit there for a little bit and feed the fish, everybody will eventually come to the boat. So it's a very important, because you never know when a big fish is gonna swim up. All right, I think you're gonna need to get your bait right next to mine. <laughs> Bunch of dolphins right here now. Oh boy, what a beautiful sight. What you got, buddy? P pretty water, mahi mahi's everywhere. It's tough getting a big one out from all the little ones. One, two, three. In the boot. These dolphins, uh, they, they grow so fast, right? So he's, he, he, everybody's heard this story a million times, but it's supposed to be 20 pounds in one year or bigger. And they're eating everything, and, and including their own offspring and there's oh yeah there's plenty things. of dolphin inside of a dolphin yes and so the when you see the group of smaller fish tighten up you know that there's some type of predator around and we did get a shot at a really nice uh big dolphin it's hard sometimes because the little fish are so aggressive mm -hmm. um that's that's that another you to it so yeah. it's very very uh important that you try to keep your eye on him the whole time and and try to find him and, and get a bait in front of him because nine times out of ten he'll eat it right there behind you. Okay, I'm holding it. There he is, he's right there, a big fish. Ready? Right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Come on, buddy. That's the one we want, that's the one we want. Oh, yes! Way to go, Steve. That was a freaking stallion. That was stallion. a right. Make sure everything's... You got him on big stuff. Yeah, what a fish. Coming in. Oh! Yeah. That's the one, baby. <laughs> that's awesome. There we go, baby. Oh, look at him. 
It's like high school, baby, just like high school. That's why you come dolphin fishing in May. Right yeah, there. Buddy. Freaking stallion. Yeah. Gonna actually get to use the gaff today, Scott Walker. All right, live bait. Oh! That's a good fish, man. I grabbed the rod with no hook on it. I'm like, <laughs> what? The only one I cut off the whole day. Yeah. What a fish, bud. Gonna have to get your picture taken with that one. That I promise. Gonna jump. And jump into the weeds. Oh, on the other side of the weeds. Keep backing me up. Isn't that amazing how they always go in the weed line? That's where they started life. That's where they wanted. So he's way over there. I know. I'm, I'm hung gotta, up over here. We got to be careful. He's doing everything in his power to stay in the ocean and out of the box. Oh, that's yeah. sick, bro. Oh, yeah. Jump again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm just scared to do anything. Look at with all this grass. Right, we get that weed, we got him. Holy crap, we got some grass. Keep the drag light, we'll get it. It's always something, Stevie boy. Always something. You're looking for shrimp? <laughs> Under yards, yeah. That's why I love that braid, because <laughs> yeah, if you're we... doing this with mono, you'd be scared to death. Let him run if he wants to run. You're almost there, bud. There, baby. All right. Go get him. I think that's the school teacher, and that was all his classmates. He's gonna jump again. Nice work. Found that fish. Don't don't hold back on him. That's when you snap him off. Man, this freaking <laughs> rod is awesome. Keep it clean, bro. We gotta get me a nice little picture. I'll keep it clean. I'll get my camera out for this one. I don't, not often when me and you are fishing together, we pull our cameras out. This is the one. That is awesome, bro. That's a wow. nice fish, man. He's 40 way pounds. To, way oh. to see him amongst all the rest of them, you know? Yeah. He's 40 all day. Might be 50. Get him good. We nice. own him. <laughs> it's so difficult with those smaller fish around to actually get the bait to the big fish because they're a little bit quicker, a little bit faster. They want to be that big. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they got to win the race. Yeah. So. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I made numerous casts to try to, to get him in one time. I saw him kind of veer off from the school, and I was able to place a cast in there. And I think a small one came in there and actually grabbed it, but he was, you know, trying to get it down. And I think, you know, sometimes they spit it to reposition, like to exactly. turn it, you know? And he spit that thing out, and that big bull just came in there and, and slammed it. <laughs> um, Good stuff. Oh. Good stuff. All right. That's how you get bloody. That's how you get some tacos right there, buddy. <laughs> Gotta take our lunch out of here, make room for him. Bury him. You ready? Yeah. Woo! Nice. That fish every bit of 40. I love it. It's hard to line it all up, you know. Sometimes the fishing's unbelievable. You know, it, it's, it's sometimes it's blowing 30 and it's not all right. So it's, it, it's really nice to have it all come together. That's what we're talking about. A little more dinner, go with that big boy. I'm not sure there's not another big boy here just yet. Oh, the big boy that's in the box, baby. <laughs> Trying to forget about my trophy, ain't you? Oh, no. I always love about um, the dolphin fishing is how good eating they are. And, and, and not just that, is how well they hold in a freezer. Because there's not many fish that, to me, can actually uh, don't, don't deteriorate flavor-wise when you freeze them. They don't get fishy. The, the dolphin, the mahi-mahi, is one of the few fish that I have no problem freezing and, um, and stocking up on when I travel or to take it to friends and family that don't live in the Keys. Yeah! Good work, good work, oh. good work! Any way you want. The dolphin's a perfect fish. You're gonna fry it. You're gonna make tacos with it. You're gonna grill it. Bake it, roast it. I mean, the black and every way, Caesar every salad. Way. Yeah. You want to eat heavy, you want to eat light. Everyone loves it. Give me three more bowls like that and I'll let you go home. You're driving, dude. I'm just catching. All right. And that's why it's the most sought fish in the Keys, I believe. And that and what else? Maybe a yellowtail snapper? That, yeah. that tuna fish right there ain't too bad either <laughs> over here at Angler and Ale. All right. There he is right there, Scott. 
Where? Right next to the patch, see him? Oh, I see him, yeah, two fish, two fish. Oh, there's some quality fish here. Oh, come on. That's a good one. There's one other one that size in there. Yeah, there you go. They're right behind the boat now. There's four real nice ones there. That was really what we're after here. Come on. Yeah, that's money shot, money shot. Oh, he's on it. Didn't mean to make you work this hard today, bud. Dolphin season's been a little slow to get here, you know? I always told people middle of May, you know? Yeah. Over the rail and into the pail, Steve. There you go. Two points. 